Hello friends, thanks for stopping by. Hope you're all having a great day. Today we are going to be talking about unwanted hair that comes with menopause. And I am sure there are many of you out there who can relate to this. I myself had one stubborn hair right here on my chin. I would pluck it all the time and it would just keep growing back. Then I tried to wax it and it just kept growing back. And I swear it got stronger and stronger. And we all know that with age, we can't always see things. So I, once I would get my 10 time magnifier and look up, I was like mortified that this whisker was growing out of my chin. So I decided, I actually talked about this tool about seven months ago, and I was using it on my underarms, my legs, and my arms. And I thought, you know, I'm going to try this on my face because it, I never really see a lot of people talking about it on their face, but it is okay to use it on the lower half. You do not want to use it anywhere around the eyes, but it is okay to use it in the areas that... With menopause, we sometimes accumulate a lot more hair, and it's actually cruel because we lose it on our head, but we gain it everywhere else. So today I am going to be showing you how I use my Kenzie. I do use it still on my arms. I use it underneath, although I hardly have to use it anymore underneath. I have maybe three or four hairs that continue to grow. So I just keep using the Kenzie on them, and eventually I don't think I'm going to have to shave anymore. And I like that idea because with age and after menopause, my skin has become sensitive to certain things. When I wax, I get very, very red underneath the arms and I'm irritated for a couple of days. When I shave, I get razor bumps. So it's always a nuisance for me. So I do continue to use the Kenzie IPL underneath my arms, on my arms, and my legs. And on my legs, I have a lot of dark hair because it is important to remember, and the company does state this, that if you have blonde hair or you have pure white hair, it's not going to work for those hairs. And it is true. Everywhere that I have light blonde hair, all the dark hair is gone, but the light blonde hair remains. Although I do think that they are coming in thinner. Uh, they still come in. I still have them all over my arms, but you do um, notice that all of the dark hair is gone. And you do have to have a certain skin tone to use this. And if you look at the box of the Ken back of the Kenzie box, you will see that it gives you a check, 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 the darkest of skins cannot use this. So just keep that in mind. There's a quick start book that tells you everything you need to know about the Kenzie. And again, it has the skin colorings on the back. If there's a check, you can give it a go. If there's an X, it's not for you. And before we go any further into the video, this video is in partnership with Kenzie. So thank you to Kenzie for collaborating with me. And this is the premium IPL handset. It comes in a box like this. It has a unit, the charging cord, and the instruction book inside the box. It looks like this. I did save the box because I like to store it in there. I don't have as much room here as I had in my uh, New York bathroom, so I do like to keep it in its box, my friends. But I use it almost every day. Now, for my face, I'm actually going to demonstrate in a video, I will put it in when I'm talking about what I do for my face. But I just wanted to run through briefly a couple of things. I've already, I'll link my other uh, Kenzie video underneath. I went into more detail. So that will be underneath as well. When you start using the Kenzie, the first thing you need to do is to shave the area. You must shave. You cannot wax. It needs the root. Okay, so don't wax and then think you can use it. You have to shave. And yes, I shave my arm hair. I shave my leg hair. I use this in the bikini area and I have been using it on my face for a couple of months. And I'm happy to say that the whisker no longer exists. And I was also noticing that I was getting some dark hairs around my mouth, which I never ever had before until menopause. When I was younger, I would wax. I didn't know about this. I would wax all the hair off and I also would do dermaplaning on my face and I never had for years any dark pieces of hair. Now I notice I have a couple of dark ones. So I've been using this and they are getting weaker. 
you can see the difference in the hair over time and eventually the root will just die out and they will not come back. But the blonde hairs are still there, but the blonde hairs are easier to disguise, my friends, than a dark hair and especially a whisker that wanted to like make itself known for sure. All right, so when you are using it, it comes with its own charging cord and you must have it plugged in to use it. On the back, you will see a green flashing light. On the front, there is a little bar here. And once I turn this on, and to turn it on, it's just a matter of turning it on. And this is as loud as it is. And you will see that this here lights up. So if I click it again, the power will go up. That means it's at its second highest setting. It has five settings, three, four, five. This will be full strength. Now, I suggest that if you are interested in the Kenzie IPL and you are going to use it, that you start out low. They, they do, do re recommend using it on the highest speed, but they also suggest that you do a test. Now, I now, have found that on certain areas of my body, I can go full strength, no problems at all. However, certain areas of my face, I do have to turn it down slightly. And now, when you look at it, the light is all blue. I don't know if it'll show up on the camera, but the light, the power lights are all blue and the first one is pink. That pink will stay lit until you make contact with the skin. And that means you're good to go. You have full contact, so it is going to work properly. So what I do is I lay it on my skin and right here is the button and you see it lit up. You move it, you click you move it, you click. If I go like this and it's lightly lifted and I do it, nothing happens. You have to have full contact and you go over each area three times. You can even hold it and just keep moving along and it will work without clicking it every single time. So you just keep moving along. Don't stay in the same place move along and then once you've completed that you just move back in a slow motion but you keep on moving so to turn it off you just hold the button and it turns off the green flashes when it is off so now if you want to if you're going along i've turned it on i'm going to turn the speed all the way up so the speed is now all the way up but i'm going to change and go to my face now press it and the speed will go down. I'm going okay. to insert me using the Kenzie on my face now, and I will walk you through what I'm doing. I may be a little backwards because I don't have the video sitting in front of me, but what I do is I start either above my lip and I move across and I do the right side first and then I'll do the left side. I'll do under my lip, I have some hairs there. They are blonde, but there's a couple of dark ones, so I wanna make sure that the dark ones don't sneak up on me, my friends. And then I will do under the chin where I had that, I don't know, it had its own life for a while. And I, to believe me, when I saw that thing and I realized I was not seeing it and I was walking around and it was, it was like at attention. It wasn't just curled up and hiding. It was at attention. So I don't know how many people saw it and said, oh my goodness, that poor woman, she, she has a whisker. <laughs> I don't enjoy having whiskers, but you I can go all the way around your jawline if you see that you have hair there. You can do the whole chin area, and then you can come right up by your ear, and you can go ahead and just sweep down and do all of that extra fuzz that you get on the side there. Even if you're not in menopause and you have like sideburns that you do not want to have, and you've had waxing and you break out, you've had... Uh, other things that just have not worked. You've been shaving it and you still get, you get ingrown hairs, all kinds of different things. You will not get that with this. I have no issues with ingrown hair. Um, you just have to be careful of the the strength you start at. If you start out and your skin can't handle it, then you may have to suffer the consequences for a few days. But uh, and you want to make sure your skin is clean and dry when you're using this. You never want to put it anywhere near your eyes. Do not be tempted to do it 
anywhere around the eye area. You just want to focus on the lower half. And I'm telling you, it is really taking care of all the dark hairs that I have right here. And like I said, this has just left the building, my friends, and it makes me very, very happy. Oh, I have been so using it for a total of nine months, and it really is amazing. Now, how long? I think it took me... I was doing it about every other day because my skin is a little bit sensitive. So I was doing it about every other day and I just simply do it in the morning or at night. If I don't have time to do it in the morning and really it takes, it takes minutes, that's it. Not even, it takes seconds if you're doing a small area. But um, if I couldn't do it in the morning, I would do it at night. But I made sure that I did it every other day. You can use it every day on your arms. You can use it every day on your legs. If your face can handle it, you can do it every day. I did not have the kind of face that could handle it every single day. And don't get cocky with it. Don't turn it up full speed and just go for it because they say it should be used at full speed because they do suggest that you, you try it on a low speed. See what your skin can handle. It's not going to get rid of the hair any faster if you can't use it because you've burned yourself. Although it does have a protective glass that does get warm, but there's a protective glass and then there's the plastic. So the glass doesn't really ever lay on your skin. So, and just never stay in the same area, always move along the face. You can lift it up and move along or you can just glide along. It's totally up to you. Don't use it with any skincare, just dry, clean skin. And I am telling you, after nine months of using this, my whisker is gone, and any other whisker that thought it was going to come my way, mm -mm, it didn't. Now, what do I do before I do my face? You'll see in the video, I use the twinkle. I don't, you can use a, a razor blade on your face. Many women do. I just have always used the little twinkle blades. I do if have you have sensitive skin, go ahead and shave the night before you use the Kenzie IPL handset. Exfoliate before you use. Uh, if you're self-tanning, you want to wait a couple of days. If you have a sunburn, you don't want to use it. You want to wait till your skin calms down. So make sure if you are going to use the Kenzie IPL handset that you take the time to educate yourself on using it. It, it really is safe. It's easy. It works but you have to know what you're doing, okay? So make sure that you really do read it. If okay. you are interested in the Kenzie IPL handset, I will have a code underneath the video for you, TAB50. That will get you $50 off your purchase. For me, um, it has succeeded in taking care of unwanted hair on my chin that came with the dreaded menopause. All right, my friends, so let me know down in the comments if you are using the Kenzie IPL handset, how long you've been using it, has it really worked for you? It really is an easy, easy unit to use. All right, friends, so that is it for today's video. I would like to thank Kenzie for collaborating with me on this video and also for the very generous $50 off code. If you haven't already subscribed, you know I would love to have you as an ageless beauty, so hit the subscribe button and the bell right next to it. Until the next time, my friends, I love you all. Bisous.